what's good y'all it's your boy chad again bringing y'all another video um today we're going to take a talk about the mlb moving the all-star game from georgia or atlanta to colorado now before we even get into this <laughs> you know at this point I, I I just don't get what we're I just don't get why we're so woke. It's it's honestly starting to become an issue. Like we're it's it's not even woke anymore. It's like the woke or fake woke. You they need to be more aware of what they're doing. So the MLBs moved the All-Star game out of Atlanta because of the new Georgia voting laws, because they said it's racist, it's all this different stuff. And it's just like, how is it racist to require ID to be able to vote? And then they've even said they're not gonna give them water and you know, they, they're not gonna hand out food and water in the line. You can bring your own food and water in the line. Like, I, like at this point, it's just getting dumb. Like we're just so woke. It's just like this woke agenda is literally killing everything. Moving the MLB, all-star game from Atlanta to Colorado all those businesses that needed that money not gonna get it all those people who were you know were gonna work and they're working minimum wage and they were gonna see like a pay increase or maybe get more money because you know they may work longer hours and stuff not gonna happen even Stacey Abrams is like why are we doing this and what makes it even worse is it's like they're doing this whole woke agenda and stuff. And the main point of having the MLB All-Star Game here in Georgia was for Hank Aaron, for remembering Hank Aaron because he died of COVID. Well, he took the COVID shot and died a week later. I'm gonna say, just like they've been saying all year, he died from COVID. Whether they wanna say it or not, Hank Aaron died from COVID. If he had other stuff going on, like most people tell me, when you get COVID, you die from COVID. They don't say anything about the, oh, it's a contributing factor. They say you die from COVID. But the MLB All-Star Game is supposed to be for Hank Aaron and like a, basically a memorial for the man. I mean, he's hit home runs. He's a black man. And this is what the woke mob always does. Even companies, they'll get so woke, they end up ruining stuff for black Americans. I'm being for real. So the woke mob is so woke, they canceled the MLB to where we can't even celebrate our own black man, Hank Aaron. They did the same thing for Ain't Your Mama. They got so woke, they took black representation off of the syrup. I don't even want to use syrup no more because my girl not on there. Ain't Your Mama syrup is a black household thing. It's like, hey, where my Ain't Your Mama syrup? Where my Ain't Your Mama syrup? I'm just kidding. But nah, for real, it's like, where my Ain't Your Mama syrup? Now we can't have the All-Star game because Major League Baseball is so woke over Georgia voting laws that they're moving it to Colorado and Colorado voting laws are basically the same. Like, why, why are we, okay, you need ID to vote. You need ID to buy alcohol. You need ID to buy Rellos and cigarettes. You need ID to get a driver's license. You need ID to fly on a plane. You need ID to do everything. It's like, wh what are we doing? Like at this point, like, I forgot to leave out some points of, you actually need ID to open a bank account. For you to file your taxes, you would need an ID. Like, okay, let's give another company that went woke and is so, so full of delusion. PayPal, they said, we agree that the Georgia voting laws are, and Delta, they said, we agree the Georgia voting laws are racist and they shouldn't have done it, blah, 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 blah. When you go to catch a flight to Delta to go through security, you need a what? An ID. So should they just waive their ID, their ID so you don't have to take a plane? No, they're not going to do that. They know that's foolishness. For PayPal, for you to sign up for a PayPal account, you need an ID. Someone even on Twitter was like, okay, PayPal, since you're standing up for this and you're saying that it's racist for them to need an ID, like, I need an ID to create my PayPal account. Can you just waive my ID? And they were like, no, um, due to the circumstances, we're not able to waive. That's just part of our life. Be quiet. What are y'all talking about? 
You need an ID to catch a flight. You need an ID to make a PayPal account. If you need it for that, it's because you want your stuff to be secured and you need it for voting to be secure. It's common sense, dog. It's common sense. I just, I don't understand where they get this wokeness from. Like, do they not use common sense? I know common sense is a common, but this is like literally like spoon feeding it to you. Like, there's common sense here. You want some? Like, dang, like this doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I'm at a complete loss. Like, I, I sometimes I want to get mad at what's going on, but it's like for me to get mad, it's like for me to just put energy into stuff that it's like these folks are so woke, it's never going to end. Like, this will be a continued cycle. And what will stop this woke behavior from happening is when these companies or these people get so woke that they end up attacking their own. The woke mob at this point has canceled anything with common sense attached to it, to where the only thing that's left to cancel or go woke on is their own stuff. Like the MLB is going to go so woke that people are not going to support the MLB and they're going to lose millions of dollars to where they're going to have to unwoke themselves. It's only inevitable. Like, I just don't get it. We we just want to see, we just want to watch a baseball game. Why do they care about the Georgia voting laws? I don't understand. And, you know, people can say they're caring because we need to make sure that we're, but it's not racist for you to need an ID. It's not racist for you to say, you know, we can't give people water and food in line because if you give people water and food in line, who says that they won't be like pandering to you in line with the food? Oh, we'll give you a slice of, oh, you're thirsty? Oh, you're hungry? Well, you know, we thinking about, you know, that new Democratic, what's it called? Oh, we want you to vote for a Republican. Oh, you can only get food if you let us talk to you about this political party. It's like, just bring your own food and water from home. Eat before you get there. Bring your own water bottle. If you know that voting lines are going to be very lengthy because this is an important thing that people are voting on, bring your own food and water. Bring a snack. Bring some gummies. Bring a Pop-Tart. Who cares? But we don't need to get, I don't understand this woke behavior. It's just, it's like, why are we so woke? Like, for these folks to be this woke, they should see that this is counterproductive. None of it's productive. We took Anya Mom off the syrup, taking black representation off of a whole household item. Then they were talking about taking Uncle Ben off. I don't even know if Uncle Ben's been taken off or not yet. But I, I, if he's not taken off yet, he's, he's soon to come going to be taken off. Now we can't even celebrate Hank Aaron, a black dude who hits, who's a very prominent, like, Major League Baseball person. And he's hit hundreds of home runs, a whole icon of the Atlanta Braves. And it's just like, I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. It makes me think, like, this woke mob swears they're doing so much for black people. And it's just like, I feel like they're, actually hurting black people more because they're making it seem like we don't know how to do anything for ourselves and that's what i'm saying this woke left mob they based like everything they do is based on the fact they feel like black people cannot do anything for themselves joe biden said black people they don't know how to get on the computer to go vote and in inner cities they don't know how to go to their local walgreens and sign up for the vaccine i mean we're hesitant because of stuff like the tuskegee experiment they are now saying that black people can't get an ID and it's racist. Like what? I don't know any black people with no ID. If they don't have a permit, a driver's license, any form of identification, a school ID, some sort of ID. I know you probably can't use a school ID, but it's like, I just don't understand. Like they make it seem like we don't know how to get anything. Like we don't know how to do anything for ourselves. And so they want to stand up for us so bad that they end up hurting us. They want to stand up for Aunt Your Mama. They hurt Aunt Your Mama. They completely removed her. It's on Pearl Milan Company. They want to stand up for these voting laws. We can't even get our own African American brother, Hank Aaron, to pay tribute to him in the city of Atlanta, where he played for the Braves in Atlanta. Come on, man. Come on. I, I know this is making sense. Because it's not rocket science. It's not. Like, they do more trying to help the black community, but it ends up hurting. It's just more so like pandering. It's almost like what they're doing, this is like a typical response of you have a white person who 
they say, you say they're racist, they say they're not racist because they have a black friend. This is what it feels like. This, it, like, this is what it feels like. And it's honestly just getting to the point of just being dumb. I, I don't know how else to say it, but it's dumb. You know, like, I, I can go on and on about this woke mob and this cancel culture and we're bringing our business elsewhere, these companies, and it's like, bruh, just stop it. Just stop. I just, like, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. You need an ID for everything. And all it does is make elections more secure. Why would you not want a secure election? What? What? If you don't need an ID to vote, then you don't need an ID to do anything. How can you even verify that this is a real citizen of the US or a real person if you don't have an ID? Someone can just go up there and just vote multiple times, no matter if they're a resident or not. Like, you want people who are not part of your United States to just come over here and make and vote on laws that have nothing to do with them? Like, come on, bruh. Make this stuff make sense. But let me know down below what you all think. I've I've just had it like. I'm up to here with the nonsense. It's just like, I, I like at this point, it almost makes me feel like we've gone so woke. I'm starting to wonder like, is it actually me? Maybe I'm not seeing the full picture. You feel me? Like maybe I'm the one that's really tripping. Like maybe I should, you know, tell the MLB to move their business elsewhere. But it's like, all we're doing is make elections more secure. You all should want more secure elections. And how is that racist? And then you have Joe Biden talking about this is basically Jim Crow. This is like Jim Eagle. What I'm worried about is how un-American this whole initiative is. It's sick. It's sick. Deciding in some states that you cannot bring water to people standing in line waiting to vote. Deciding that you're going to end voting at five o'clock when working people are just getting off work. And so I'm convinced that we'll be able to stop this because it is the most pernicious thing. This makes Jim Crow look like Jim Eagle. I mean, this is gigantic what they're trying to do. What is this man talking about? This man is, this man is, he's gone. His brain is fried. What is he talking about? This is like Jim Crow, Jim Eagle? Bruh. Jim Crow, black people could not vote at all. And there were strict laws for him to even sit up here and try to compare it to that is lunacy. But y'all let me know down in the comments, you know, what y'all think. And it's been your boy Chad. I'm done ranting.